Hey everybody, i um, been thinking about doing a series for Dwarf Fortress for a while and figured I'd start with the setup that I think would be best for any new player. Um, I mean, there are plenty of fantastic Dwarf Fortress tutorials out there, but they all kind of use the same, um, you know, original application. For me, I really, really like Dwarf Fortress Remote. Um, it's a iOS application developed um, where basically you have just kind of a remote setup where you still need a server hosting the game because uh, iPhones and iPads just aren't strong enough to, to run the full game and render the UI at the same time. But it's a really fantastic experience to start learning the game in my opinion and um, I'm going to build my tutorial off of this application. So this is Dwarf Fortress Remote. Um, I'll include a link to the website where you can um, access this web page. Uh, additionally, you can search for Dwarf Fortress Remote on the App Store. So I'm going to switch views here real quick. Um, I've already downloaded the application. Um, and I'm just going to launch it right now. From here, there are two ways to set up your server. Um, I'm going to include sections for both ways. Um, by far, the absolute easiest way to set this up is to use the server subscription option in the application. Um, it is a paid subscription, though. I mean, this guy's doing a phenomenal amount of work and uh, it wouldn't really be fair for him to have to also host all the servers himself. Um, I mean, I've set up servers to run Dwarf Fortress um, remotely and $5 is the uh, server cost per month and that's actually exactly what I paid when I did it. Um, so anyway, this is the um, kind of server subscription. Once you've subscribed, this is what you would see. Um, this is a new world already set up here. Um, you can additionally, you can create your own new world if you want to. Um, this player ID is, I think, essentially what you would need to have someone log in. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to keep the subscription up for, for too long. I just wanted to, to show it off. Um, the second part of this, I will be showing how to actually set it up. I will be doing it on a Windows computer, um, which by far is the easiest setup amongst all of them. But um, we do actually have support for Windows, Linux, and Mac um, as far as where the, the Dwarf Fortress server would be hosted. Um, I'm going to leave kind of maybe a, a Linux or Mac tutorial to, to someone else. But for now, I um, just wanted to, to show what I think is the easiest way to do this. Um, so from here, I'm going to show the, the next part of the setup. Um, this would actually be the setup that you would use if you're going to host from your own Windows workstation. So let's get started. Okay, the first step to getting Dwarf Fortress remote set up on your Windows machine is to load up this uh, mifki.com forward slash df website. Again, I will have that in the description for this video. On the top right corner, you're going to go to installation. Um, on the installation page, there's a bunch of information here on, you know, you can set it up easily, like I mentioned, on either Mac or Linux. We will be doing Windows for this tutorial. Um, once you've downloaded the file, just unzip it into some folder. Um, right here, I have unzipped it to this DF Remote Complete 4305 Windows. Um, at the time of recording, um, this Dwarf Fortress Remote is currently set up to work with Dwarf Fortress version 43.05, I believe the latest version is 44, something like that. I um, believe the author is attempting to update everything, hopefully sometime soon. 
um, but for now this is the experience so what you're gonna do is you just unzip it and you just run dwarffortress.exe from here um, two windows will pop up you're going to have this is the the dwarf fortress the standard window um, that I mean you always get whenever you uh, start it up over here this is DF hack this is a uh, second console window where you can type in um, one very specific command which is remote connect you're gonna go ahead and hit enter it's gonna ask you if you want to have Dwarf Fortress Remote adjust the Windows firewall settings. Um, yes, you absolutely wanna do this. Um, from there, it will set up the uh, remote connection. And then, yeah, go ahead and hit enter one more time. If, if this uh, code, the QR code here doesn't show up. Now what you're going to do on the actual console here and unfortunately it's going to be a little hard for me to show both but on the uh, either the iPad or the iPhone you're going to press the plus up on the top right corner um, you're going to press continue and then it's going to scan you can go ahead and have it scan your QR code that showed up in that second console um, just really quickly showing you um, once you connect it will say right here um, client connected and it should tell you you know that you connected to some through some IP address within your network it's very important that you that both your iPad and or iPhone and your Windows computer are on the same Wi-Fi network um, this will be a lot more difficult as far as routing and everything goes it's certainly possible but kind of outside the scope of this tutorial and with that that's the complete setup um, in the next section I will talk about actually starting your server and creating a new world and getting everything all set up